The Sphinx-lined avenue that connects Luxor to Karnak has just revealed a collection of ancient ovens and walls that have not seen the light of day for at least 1,700 years. As the Roman era of Egypt collapsed, these structures became forgotten and lost. Only now, in the year 2020, are we recovering these things from the pits of history. Wait till you hear this. The Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities announced recently on Facebook that the discovery has taken place of a large number of round ovens for burning mud bricks that bear burning marks. And a huge mud wall dating back to the late Roman Empire period, revealed during project work, restoration and reveal of the road of the major parade known as the Rams Road. Egypt's Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities said that, the discovery has taken place in Luxor of ovens that were used to make pottery and also of an ancient wall that was found west of the Kabash Road of the Temple of Khoisu. It is about 30 meters in length, 2.5 meters high and 3 meters wide, and it consists of 17 courses of mud bricks. According to Egypt Today, the Egyptian mission uncovered as well as a wall that was built from three horizontal rows of sandstone blocks which is an extension of the wall that protected the eastern bank of the Nile from the changing water levels during the seasons of flood in ancient dynastic times of Egypt. This wall extends from the front of the Karnak Temple in the north to the Luxor Temple in the south along the Kabash Road with a length of about two miles. The Secretary General further added that the mission members take all the necessary protective measures during the current pandemic sweeping the globe and that they will all wear a mask and maintain the needed social distance during this crucial and dramatic excavation work. It is worth noting that the excavation work in various areas of Kabash Road has been ongoing since 2017 in order to unveil the rams within the framework of the road rehabilitation project in preparation for its hopeful opening very soon. The Ferry Onik Kabash Road is to become the longest gangway and open museum in the world, with the renovation being considered a monumental moment for Luxor, as the project will bring the Great Road to life once more in a setting crucial for dynastic inspiration. Its new design is set to change Luxor's position on the touristic map, as it will become the longest gangway and open museum in the world and it is expected that the new makeover will attract tourists the world over and play a vital role in pushing the Egyptian tourism forward as the 100 year anniversary of the King Tut discovery draws near in 2022. In dynastic times of Egypt, the Kabash Road connected the Karnak Temple complex with the Luxor Temple and during the time of the Pharaohs, the road was one of the most important as it hosted ceremonies and festivals. Although Kabash Road is almost two miles long, it is also pleasant as it is adorned with over 1,200 statues that have so far been recovered that are lining one side of the road, each resembling the Sphinx, where the head is that of a ram and the body is that of a lion, and sculpted from sandstone. This meaningful decoration is dedicated to Amun, as the head of the statues are in the form of the gods, while the rest of the statue has the body of a lion and this is a means of protecting the temples from looters. The renovation of the Ferry Onik Kabash Road is considered a monumental moment for Luxor, as the project will bring the Great Road to life again. Its new design is set to change Luxor's position on the touristic map, as it will become the longest gangway and open museum in the world, according to Minister of Antiquities. That is all from us for today, guys, but we will be back with more content just shortly. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it the very vital thumbs up as the Lost History Channel continues to battle suppression here on YouTube. Please put your comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.